giant Taz Gravity Enduro Series is kicking off for the 21-22 season, and we're here in Georgetown for the first time. We're running all seven descents in Mount George, so there's plenty of lines to learn for the people that haven't sampled World Trails goods. Georgetown mountain bike trails are going to be about 80 kilometres in total over two trail networks. Uh, we've got the Mount George trail network right here, which is about 16 kilometres. It's been open since October last year. I and mean, it also represents a really great partnership between uh, council and also the local industry, in particular Bell Bay Aluminium. They also own probably 60% of the land on which the trails have been built. Riders are going straight up the hill for a shorter steep climb from the trailhead. Stage one starts with the DT Swiss Queen stage. At 1.8 kilometres, this is one of the longer stages. Full of rocky lines, rhythm, and a flat push that's going to be hard work back to the trailhead. Tom Booth and Taylor Sheriff took out first in the DT Swiss Queen stage to start off the day on the top of the timesheet. A longer traverse up the hill to the East Peak Trails at Bell Bay View with short and sharp stages for two and three, with four taking riders 2.5 k's back to the trailhead. 6061 for stage two should be a good warm up for Megawatt with some high speed and rocks without any deceiving line choices. great beaches, we've got lots of great things around Georgetown, uh, but it's sort of fallen off the map a little bit. Uh, so we're hoping that mountain biking can be the conduit to reintroduce Georgetown. But we're also close to other existing trail networks like Blue Derby, and we're on the way to St Helens. So I think that northeastern corner of Tasmania is something to be reckoned with. It's sort of the world trail corner, I guess. We're really pumped to be involved with this project and uh, to see a race happening here this weekend, the first one, uh, on these trails, uh, we're really excited to see. And most of our team are racing too. It's gonna be a great time to test out the trails. They're all different to anything else in Australia. Stage 3 Megawatt is the only bike trail of the enduro, but it makes it count. Multi rock roll and jump line choices will reward riders, but a couple of gravel dual Salem inspired sections makes grip a hard thing to be sure of. Yeah. 
Stage 4 is the longest stage of the day at 2.5 k's and while the first kilometre has a fun rhythm flow, maintaining speed all the way back to the trailhead with a low grade and a bit of climbing in the midday heat won't help. Straight up the hill, stage five is a simple buzz cut top to bottom. A few good lines over the rocks and the willingness to trust the dirt and let off the brakes is the name of the game here. Yeah.
Well short, Gadang Gadang has a whole lot of rock rolls that will make or break the race in the closing stages. Straight lines over and down the biggest rocks offer the biggest rewards, but perfect tyre placement is going to be hard when you're feeling the heat, and the punishment could be race ending. Desperado gives us our seventh and last stage of the day. Riders are about 25 kilometers deep, so the last traverse is gonna be punishing. Our first taste of Georgetown for the giant Taz Gravity Enduro Series has been pretty awesome. There was plenty of quality trails and racing moments, and the heat coming down at the end only made the finish line that more rewarding. For today's results, Taylor Sheriff took the win in Elite Women ahead of Logan Barnett and Millie Caff. Tom Booth, backing up his State Enduro Champs title, took out the win in Elite Men ahead of World Trails, Max Connor and John O'Coy. Shout out to the under 17s Vinnie Marnian and Sam Hugo who took out 2nd and 6th in the best times overall today. 